Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 19th. We have the beautiful Mr. Star here. Happy Eclipse. Eclipse has just occurred, which at the time of recording this, like I said, the cats have been really quite sooky. They've come into ooh, virtually every reading. So let's see what is coming in. I feel like this little page of wands, actually, this is the, ironically, I was just editing a clip, a little Instagram reading for the eclipse and this is the card that came out. So Page of Wands, it is about emotionally repatterning but going off and exploring new things. It's time to go and explore something new. It really feels like, trust that feeling of excitement, that pull to adventure, that pull to something new and different. It's a very uh, kind of interestingly kind of a Sagittarius type energy I'm getting. The King of Cups but Yes, this King of Cups is saying, well, I, it is a watery eclipse. And so as the hanged man, here comes the Pisces energy coming through the Knight of Swords. So, yes, you are not doing this without having a big think about it, without understanding something from a very different place. This King of Cups and the hanged man, this is like an awakening. This is something from the depths coming up, an awakening. And it's this message, this intuitive or emotional or deep message, a soul message that's coming in and saying, if you're looking for something, <laughs> if you're searching for, I want to say water, but what I mean by that is this element of you know, the King of Cups is on the ocean. It is very Neptunian. It's Pisces and the full moon is conjunct the Neptune as well so it's like the king of cups and the hanged man is also the same energy it's the Piscean energy and this and the page of wands is in the desert going I'm searching for water the two of swords can't see it the water's behind it the rational mind cannot see it the page of wands the message from soul and spirit is go out and search for it because it's right in front of you it's almost the same message as yesterday but again it's mysterious because it's pisces the way the messages are coming out and being revealed and with the king of cups and the hanged man yes it is seeing that something in those beautiful deep waters is awakening within and so if there's been something that has been neglected or unfulfilled, this is where this page of wands is heading. It's realizing there is growth and potential, something new to be drawn to, a new message and something new to discover. And it's seeing the new growth. And you know what? It's not going to be the desert for much longer. It's about to jump straight into the ocean. So from the desert to the ocean, it's like, boom, time to dive in to something new and exciting. So the only thing I will say with the Knight of Swords and the Devil is your conscious mind might be scared of this. It might be fearful of it, of taking action with it. Then it could be a lot of hesitation with the logical mind going, you what, you want me to do this? Uh, but this message is coming from somewhere deep within that it's a deep intuitive or soul message or emotional Im imagine like it's a deep imagining perhaps and it's like that is where this is coming from <laughs> and the it may require a little bit of processing time it may require courage to step into this because our rational minds it may be a different way to approach or to feel within a situation and it feels like, yeah, there's a little bit of that emotionally emotional repatterning and those thought patterns that are usually connected to our old emotions are going, what? I don't know. I don't understand this. So this is where you get to choose a different emotional response to a situation in your life. Go and explore something new. It's going to open you up to something new. I want to choose to feel differently in this place, in this space, in this energy in my life. And it really feels like there's something deeply calling you here. And it's about trusting that, not the fears of the uh, rational mind that could get a little bit stuck with this energy. It's trust that deep, deep feeling that's coming in. So that is the reading for the 19th. Again, you know, it's this, the deep reveal, something coming up, something emerging, trusting those feelings. It's potentially something mystical or something that um, comes from the deep imagination, but it is something that is slowly dawning, slowly understanding it needs a time 
to really have the patience to see the new perspective here, to see what this is, to let this enlighten you, to let this awaken within. And so it is going to need a little bit of time and understand that it's coming in in this fairly beautiful, mysterious and mystical and highly intuitive way, even creative way. And so if you're feeling a little bit uncertain or unsure about it, you really need to trust those deeper feelings. So that's the reading. I'm absolutely loving this eclipse energy. I just lay down when it was happening. I closed my eyes and I felt like, like I felt like I was just an ball of energy. I felt like I was alive. I felt this mm, amazing, I can't like really energized. I can't really describe it. It just felt like, whoa, I was like, you know, sometimes when the sun just suddenly beams down on you, you can feel the heat. It felt like that, like this energy beam. And it's just like, whoa, okay, I feel like something's activating in this or something being zapped in some way with energy, but I can't really say what it is. I could probably take a guess at some of the things, but I'm waiting for it to reveal itself to me a little bit more. So that's the reading for the 19th. If any of you are having birthdays around this time, this is going to be a pretty wild year for you. <laughs> Something's about to take off or will take off in the next three to six months. So exciting. Could even be fantastic for creative projects as well. So, or highly intuitive projects. So that is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Please follow me on Instagram if you want to see <laughs> my little Instagram reading with the page of wands and please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments let us know what's happening for you with this eclipse or what you're experiencing because it is more of a an immersion or an experience so yeah sometimes it's not like so much a linear thing with the pisces full moon or especially with an eclipse energy so uh yeah that's it and happy eclipse